He's going to the beach. <laughs> yeah. I'm here with uh, Zidan Iqbal. How are you, Zidan? Alhamdulillah, Shlonik. And Zain and Tashlonik. Alhamdulillah, Zain. Okay, Zidan, I have four questions for you. The first question is uh, Can you tell me something about your injury? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so, um, my injury is not, not a big problem. Um, I just have pain in my tendon in my left knee. So, um, me, my dad, my agent, and the coach we decided it would be better if I rested for next season, you know, so yeah, I'll be back soon, very soon. Okay, inshallah, inshallah. Um, can you tell, tell us something about the camp? Uh, what, what do you think about the training camp? Uh, the camp is uh, really enjoyable. Uh, we're in Spain, um, you know, the players excited, you know, we played a very strong team, Colombia, it was a very good game. We lost 1-0, but there's you know, playing tough teams, strong teams like this, you learn, you learn a lot, so it will help us for the Asia Cup in January. Good. Uh, the third question is, um, can you tell us something about next season? Um, next season, inshallah, will be a good one. Um, yeah, so I'll work hard and enjoy the season and whatever happens, happens, you know, I'll give my best. Okay. And the fourth question is, um, you know that Iraq uh, just went to the World Cup one time and um, it's a dream of many of all Iraqi people for us going to the World Cup. Mm -hmm. So do you believe that we can go to the World Cup? Yeah, I, I believe very, very much because we have a strong team, we have um, amazing staff, coaches with great ideas, we have new players, exciting players, young players, old players, it's a good group, it's mixed, you know, so we're still learning the coaches' ideas and tactics, but inshallah, you know, we, we learn quick and we show our level in the Asia Cup. And then, um, you know, the World Cup's in three, four years, so we have time to improve and I have no doubt that we will we will be going, we'll definitely be going, so yeah. Inshallah. inshallah. Hello guys, today I'm with Abu Noor, Osama Rashid, and we have four questions for him today. So, um, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Anyway, the first question, we'll be speaking about his injury in the Colombia match. So, can you tell us a bit more about this? Yes, uh, during the game I got an elbow in my, in my ribs. Um, I could continue just in the half time I got uh, changed because I had too, too much pain. We did the x-ray and uh, Alhamdulillah, we, there's nothing broken. But it's, it's a bit bruised, so I have some difficulties breathing and uh, I'm not able to run. But um, the doctor said to have rest for seven days. Um, but it's not, a, it's not a big thing. Now one question from you to Osama, one question from Osama for you, for joking. Okay. Choose what you want. Uh, uh, okay, after. Speak okay. about Abu Noor. <laughs> after, in, after. In. But then we'll do it after this. Yeah, okay. okay, so you've been in the national team for 12 years, am I right? More even. Wow. Yeah. More? How many years? 2012, 11 years. Also oh, less. 11 years. Yeah, so less. Um, no, so wait, can you... Wait, let me... 2013. No, wait. I was... 13, uh, no, 12 years. 12, 12 years, okay. Yeah, so um, can you tell us the difference between back then and now and any changes and improvements or what do you think of the difference? Last time I was with the national team was in Russia, but before that was four years ago. I think the difference between then and now, I think we are working we have more structure now. Uh, I think the training and the games we played are on a much high level. Um, yeah, I think the things, things we are developing on many, on many things. I think the, the technical stuff is very important with these changes and also the federations are giving us all conditions to and help to for us to perform well and yeah I think we are on the on the good way yes very nice and um, the third question is what are your plans for next season um, yeah my, it's simple, I renewed my contract, so I will stay at my club and try to play as many matches as possible. Inshallah, a successful season for you. 
And um, my fourth and final question is, do you think we will go to the World Cup in 2026? I believe so, I believe so. I think we have everything to reach the, the World Cup. Like we have very good players, very good young players. We have some experienced players. I think the mix is very good. I think we are, like I said, we are on the right way. Um, but before the World Cup, we still have the Asia Cup in six months. Also for the Asia Cup, I believe we can do a good job. If we continue the same way as we're doing, I believe uh, the future of Iraqi football will be bright. Inshallah. Shukran. <laughs> okay, so me and Osama, we share a room for one week. Yes. Yeah. People call him Osama, but I call him Abu Noah. You want to explain why? Yes, it's simple. In in uh, in our Arabic world, when you are our father, my my uh, son, his name is Nuh, so I'm Abu Nuh, and <laughs> my my question is. If inshallah in the future, if you would be father, if it would be your boy or girl, what's the name? Uh, this is a tough question. Um, for a girl, I like the name Aya because my mom's called Ayat and it's basically the same name. But I also have a niece called Aya, I think it's a beautiful name. And for a son, I like Louie. Yeah, Louie? Yeah, yeah, I like this name a lot, but um, there's still a long way to go. I'm 20, maybe I'll be a father, maybe 27, 28, I don't know, but I could think about this later. Okay. He's an old man. Okay, so, so let me see if your Arabic is good. So, okay. uh, <laughs> my Arabic's also not so good. So, you understand what I say? Yeah, inshallah, for the we'll Abu Abu Luai, Lo Abu. Yes, good, you understand. Yeah. We <laughs> about Liverpool and United. Uh, he knows United is bigger, so we don't really speak about this because he knows. He already knows. <laughs> I just support Liverpool to be against you. Yes. So we have something to discuss. Yeah.